Hey guys, spring of 2012, we're going to be updating some of our classics, our rolling duffels. With the Mission Ready 2.0, the Psalms 2.0, and the Cams 2.0. These are classics, they've been online for a while, but we've gone and taken the end user input to make these better, and we've upgraded these bags. Now, what I want to do is I want to show you guys, you know, the, the, the new version, and then I also want to show you the legacy version, the, uh, the original Mission Ready. This guy's been around for a long time, had the retractable handle to it. One of the things you notice about this bag is it doesn't quite stand up. You know, it, it kind of is a limp, a limp bag. And it's been a great bag for us for a long time, but we figured we could probably improve this and do a lot better. One of the changes we made to this bag right at the bat is that it stands up, okay? We've also improved the, uh, the retractable handle on the back. We've gone with a ruggedized, uh, textured handle with reinforced aluminum uh, aerospace grade shafts that come down the inside. We've also reinforced the axles on these. And because you know, guys are traveling all over the world with these, we know that airlines aren't always the easiest on our bags. So we've also improved how they're attached. We've also increased the number of rivets that are attaching the wheel housing to the backs of these as well. Some of the other changes we made to this bag, you know, obviously you've got your, your grab handle, but we've added a grab handle on all four sides. Makes it easy for you to grab this bag from any direction out of the back of your rig and pull it out. We've also added an embossed 511 logo flag patch, so you can put your identification on here. And then overall, the aesthetics of this bag now match up with the Psalms and the Cam, so we have a true, you know, small, medium, and large option that we can present to you. Over here, we have a business card slot for identification when traveling. And then along the full length of this side, we also have a zippered pocket. Great for putting in just narrow or thinner objects on the sides here. If we go to the other side of the bag, place here for a right bar. This works great with a black Sharpie or a paint pen. A great place to identify your gear from somebody else's in case they want to borrow it. And then we have a Velcro uh, name tape as well. Now on the outside, we have three large pockets. We've increased the depth of these over the original Mission Ready. So that way they're a little more user friendly. You can now get your hand all the way down inside of these. On the outside of the bag, we have the clear document pocket made out of TPU so that way you can put your travel docs inside of this. And then one of the other changes we made to this bag compared to the old Mission Ready, you know, the old one used to undo two buckles and then you could get into the zippers to get inside the bag. I always thought that was kind of annoying. So what we did was we did away with the buckles. The straps go all the way around the bag so you can lift up the whole thing to support it. I simply undo the handle and now I can get right into the bag. We have lockable zippers on this. And then when you open this bag up, we have two sides of the bag. We have a left and a right side. Great thing about this is I can now separate out my gear. I could have uh, hard gear on one side, soft on the other. I could have you know, all my dirty cl uh, clothes and laundry on one, clean clothes on the other. But another nice thing about this, we've upgraded the interior. Notice that there's now a, a, a nice light gray interior on the inside of this. And again, you have these dividers. I can actually roll this divider up to get it out of the way if I want to. And pass this through, almost like a tent flap. And that's on the top and the bottom. And then we now also have uh, retention straps. So if I want to lash down whatever I'm traveling with, I can now secure that and get it secured out of the way. Now I mentioned how I have a left and a right side or a top and a bottom. One other feature we've built into this is the ability to roll this out of the way as well. And now when I close this up, I can convert this bag into a top loader. Now, one other feature we've improved on uh, on this bag are the feet that they stand up on. The feet here are actually have a, a place for a pass-through, so that way these bags can be lashed down. You know, a lot of requests we get are for uh, sending these bags out to be palletized for a natural disaster. So they have to drop ship in a bunch of uh, a bunch of uh, cargo and, and bags. So the, uh, the now the new feet will allow you to lash these down, have them palletized and secured for transit and cargo. Some upgrades we made to this bag. You know, I'm a taller guy, I'm 6'4", but when I'm carrying this bag, you know, I have this, the, the handles here off to the side, and for me, I'm having to bend over a little bit, it's a little awkward to carry, and then with the two handles, you know, I was always pulling off center, versus, you know, being able to pull from the middle of the bag, which meant that inevitably I get going, this guy gets some, some speed going, and then I have a wipeout, right? So what I did was, we've upgraded the handle system, Again, it's got that same ruggedized, textured handle that we, we had on the Mission Ready. It's reinforced with aluminum housing. And we've also reinforced, again, the, uh, the skid plates, the wheel housing, and the axles on this bag. 
This bag also has the same feet that we mentioned before on the Mission Ready, so that way you can tether or tie this bag down uh, for palletizing. And then we took the two handles from the side and we centered it up, so that way if you do have to pull it from just the handle itself, it's in the middle, it's not going to get pulled off side or, or cause that wipeout issue. So again, that's the, uh, the Psalms 2.0. All the other features remain the same for this bag. You know, ruggedized corners, grab and go handles on all corners. On the inside, light gray interior and divider panels on the inside as well. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with this bag, on the inside there's also uh, uh, poles. You can take those poles down, collapse this, and if you need to throw it underneath a bunk or something like that and get out of the way, it gives it that option as well. So again, this is the uh, Psalms 2.0. So the final bag in our collection is the CAMS 2.0, and by collection I mean we've got the, the Mission Ready 2.0, the Psalms 2.0, and the largest of the three is the CAMS. And again, CAMS stands for Carries All My Stuff. Now this one's already a tall bag, I mean it's already the right height, so I didn't have to add an extendable handle to this one. We do have the, uh, the, the drag handle right in the middle, it makes it very easy to drag and pull this one. Again, it's the right height for everyday use. We have improved the, uh, the feet on this one, so again, I can use this for lashing the bag down or for palletizing this. We've also increased the strength of the, uh, the axle, the wheel housing, and the skid plates, and we've also improved how the skid plates are attached by adding additional rivets and making sure this is really gonna last for all of your trips. Now, if you're not familiar with the CAMS bag, one of the things you need to know about is on the bottom side, we do have a separate zippered tub fits perfect with our 36 inch rifle case. The rifle case fits right inside of here. You can lock this up, lockable zippers. And then just like our Psalms and our Mission Ready, has a Velcro name tape, a right bar, Velcro flag patch. This one has two travel documents up on top, the TPU pockets. And again on this side, again, another right bar, Velcro flag patch, and a business card ID window on here as well. This is a top loader, so I can open this entire compartment up and organize everything from the inside. On the inside, it's a light gray interior, and it also has web platform on the inside, so I can molly on or Velcro in additional pouches. So that's the CAMS 2.0, again, coming out this spring of 2012. And we understand that one bag may not be enough to get all of your gear to where you're going. So we've incorporated a feature that I think you're gonna like. It's the ability to tether these bags together into a convoy. Whether you're attaching a CAMS to another CAMS, a CAMS to a SOMS, a SOMS to a mission, or multiple missions together, these will give you the ability to, to get all of your bags where you're going with one person, one user pulling them. I've had up to five of these before in a convoy going through an airport.